All right, so we have filled a 22 foot by 42 inch raised bed with our soil mix. And this is our homemade uh, farm compost uh, from the back there. This is mostly um, over a year old. And it is not just one kind of, of compost. It's a, it's a whole bunch of different things. You'll see leaves in here, you'll see straw. Um, there's chicken bedding, so chicken manure and chicken bedding. There's also uh, goat bedding and goat uh, manures. Um, there's rabbit bedding and rabbit manures, so mostly pine shavings and straw, and then those different various kinds of manures. Um, there's also kitchen waste that goes in here, and uh, ashes as well from our fire pit, uh, or fire uh, wood burner. And so you end up with, uh, there's a lot of clumps and things like that. It's a lot of stuff that hasn't broken all the way down yet, and that's totally fine. As the year goes on, all this clumped up stuff, all the, the pieces that aren't uh, broken down yet, they're going to, uh, the worms are going to find this stuff. And they're going to break all this down, and it'll release the nutrients a little bit slowly throughout the year, and uh, even into next year. Um, there's some leaves in here that haven't broken down yet. A lot of different things. But a lot of this has broken down really well and that peat moss helps to kind of keep it from clumping up. So um, it helps to keep the compost kind of loose and it also stops it from composting. So if you just put a bunch of compost in here, it'd be a real sticky mess. Um, so it turns it into a really nice soil. Now the only thing that I would have done differently and I did in my original soil mix is um, I usually like to add a little bit of sand and the sand also helps to um, you know, break this stuff up a little bit better and keep it from clumping together, keeps it loose. Uh, it also adds a little bit of mineral to the uh, to the soil, but this has every bit of nutrients that you're going to need to grow just about anything in a raised bed. So we've got one bed filled this year. I don't know if I'm going to get to too many more. This uh, I'm running out of time this year. We're going to start planting in about a week, um, possibly even this weekend in a few days here, and so. Um, you know this soil is going to get better throughout the next year to two um, obviously it'd be better if you're in a suburban setting or you're in a, a, a different kind of setting you don't have your own farm compost uh, screen compost is better obviously you don't have to deal with all the chunks and things like that you can get screen compost a lot of times from munici municipalities that collect yard waste and um, farms and things like that they sell it a lot of times by the truckload you can go to landscape supply places you can get um, half yard to yard even two yards of um, screen compost there that's a lot of times yard waste um, that's good compost too it's not quite as rich in nitrogen as uh, your manure compost is but still definitely great for a mix like this um, I do recommend getting some sand and you can get engineering sand from a, a landscape supply place usually it's like 20 bucks for half a yard or even 20 bucks for a yard I can't remember super cheap um, to do that also uh, and then peat moss which is the controversial additive I guess to this um, we really love it here and we use it in all of our, our mixes uh, seed starting and uh, our, our gardens and everything uh, really keeps the the soil nice and loose and holds moisture um, so we really like to, to use the, uh, uh, the peat moss. Um, you can use cocoa core also if that's what you have available to you. Um, that stuff's a little bit more expensive to fill a size, you know, like this. I mean, it was $30 worth of peat moss that we put in here. Um, this is about 70 cubic feet of total space. And so, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of space to fill. Um, also use some of our native soil in this mix too. You'll, you saw me as I set the bed in there, I, I dug out those post holes um, where the, the legs sit in and I put all that into the uh, bed and that got mixed in here too. So we should have a real good mix this year. Um, we won't be planting a lot of uh, real thin seed stuff like carrots or things like that in here. We also don't probably will stay away from things like uh, nitrogen fixing things like legumes. So we'll stay away from any peas or, or, or anything like that. Uh, this year in this bed uh, because there's so much nitrogen in here uh, we'll use we'll probably grow things like beans and peppers and tomatoes and potatoes and onions uh, a lot of root crops that will help to break up that soil I know one one comment that people have made on our soil mix uh, many times is about the acidity and uh, they'll say well you can't grow anything in that it's too acidic well plants actually like acidic soil so you want something in the range of about five um, even four and a half could be as low as four and a half um, a pH that low and uh, probably right around five is probably the best five to six but um, we do have some ash in here and I can test the soil if I notice any deficiencies or anything like that with plants 
Um, I can add a little bit of our wood ash. We've got lots of that around here and uh, that'll help to bring the pH up a little bit as well. But um, I've never had an issue. I think is that we've had the best growth we've ever had using a very similar mix to this. Uh, things grew better than we could ever imagine in this stuff. So real happy with uh, the real high compost mix. We have, this is about 75 to 80% compost. Um, the peat moss was only nine cubic feet out of the 70 and uh, the you know native soil in here wasn't much either. So we've got mostly compost in here other than a little sand that I dug up when I scooped the compost out. So well, we've got one bed filled and lots of gardening to go. So lots of videos coming up on gardening. I uh, can't wait to get things growing in here. It'll be soon. Weather's looking good for the uh, rest of May here for us in Michigan. So uh, hopefully get an early planting uh, this year. Reach down, hit thumbs up and subscribe. If you are not already subscribed, make sure you hit the bell on the subscribe button to alert, uh, get your notifications when we post new content. And uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. What do you think? Questions, comments, you guys setting up new gardens this year, looking to fill your raised beds and looking for a cheap way to do so. Um, 30 bucks for this 22 foot, you know, 70 square foot or 70 cubic foot uh, bed. It's not bad. So uh, let us know what you guys think. I'd love to hear from you. As always, thanks for watching. Have a good one.